Team coverage takes us to Williamsburg now. You know, it might be hard to see, but on the right, that's a live look at the Rin Yard on William and Mary's campus. Williamsburg, one part of our area waking up to some winter weather. Right, and Ann is there live this morning. Ann, what are you seeing out there? Ah, Ashley, Dan, just more and more rain and the cold is just mixing in to make a really messy start to this morning here in Williamsburg. I don't know if you can tell, but these are icicles forming on these branches. They are crunching at my touch and you can just see this ice. So you can imagine if it's like this on the trees out here, you can imagine what it is like on the road conditions out there. So we did call the dispatch workers in the area of the peninsula. We called Williamsburg uh, and James City County as well as because and they all told me that they are not seeing significant issues or hazards on the roadways or accidents just yet. But as Bethany just mentioned, there was an issue in York County along I-64 near Bush Gardens. Um, they said that a tractor trailer did crash and we just want you to know that it's good to just take your time on the roads this morning. This is an icy like rain It's going in and out of sleet back to rain. Not much of snow really, but it's good to remember. Take your time no matter what. These are slick conditions out there, but we'll be catching up with you guys in just a half hour with how the latest conditions are coming because they are changing pretty quickly up here. Live in Williamsburg, Ants Baracco for 13 News Now. That's some great advice there, and thank you for that. And we want to see your pictures, what you're waking up to this morning. Text us a photo to the number on your screen, and you might see it on air later today. All right, live.